So today's video is just like some simple gifts that you can DIY since Christmas is literally like super close. I just wanted to make a Christmassy video and I guess this is my last one because I got too lazy to edit this one and too lazy to put it up last week. So yeah, if you're interested in making your own DIY gifts um, and you want some ideas, just keep watching. <laughs> So for this video, I decided to make a voiceover, even though they are kind of weird, but whatever, we're just going to go for it. So for this first DIY, I just got a clear ornament that you could just get at Walmart, and I made a cone out of just a white sheet of paper, and I started putting in all the hot chocolate packets. I ended up using about 6 or 12 of them, I have no idea, but you can use as many as you want. And I added more marshmallows to the hot chocolate, even though I already had um, tiny marshmallows, just because I thought it made it look so much cuter that way and then I took a ribbon and I just put it in through the little hole I made a knot at the bottom and then one at the top so you'd be able to hang it and that was pretty much it for this DIY so for the next DIY I just went ahead and made a reindeer out of a coke bottle I got those little fuzzy metal things and I just twisted them around each other and made some ears. I can't really explain it, but hopefully you guys get what I mean. And then I just hot glued them to the top of the Coke bottle. And I just went ahead and used a pom-pom for the nose and some googly eyes that I purchased at the dollar store. it off I just went ahead and put some ribbon around it I do recommend a different color just so it stands out a little bit more and probably a lot thicker just so it looks nice but other than that there's the reindeer so this next DIY I just went ahead and got a mason jar and I got a piece of white paper and I just rolled it into like a little tube thing I guess I don't know we're basically going to be putting money in that and then filling the rest of the jar with some M&M's and I think this is a pretty cool gift because it's like oh like you got me M&M's and then they open it up and there's a surprise inside but that's pretty much it it's pretty simple and pretty easy and this next gift is pretty easy as well you just get a clear ornament and fill it with some M&M's you can use this as decoration or just gift it to a little kid because I don't know little kids love candy and it's pretty exciting to like get something in an ornament I don't know <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it and then I just used a ribbon and tied it like an ornament once again and yeah <laughs> So this next DIY was one of my favorites because I was able to draw and kind of just get creative with this. I just went ahead and purchased some Sharpies, like a bunch of colors, they're pretty cheap to get at Walmart. And I wrote Merry Christmas, you can go ahead and like design the mug however you want. You can add initials, you can add like a different saying, or just draw on it, whatever. And it's pretty cool because it's just a unique gift, personalized for someone else. And yeah. Once you're done making your little drawings and everything, you do want to put the mug in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, just so the Sharpie kind of just sets in and you're able to wash the mug. Um, and after that, you're free to add whatever little gifts you want. I just went ahead and got hot chocolate, some chocolate, and some fuzzy socks because it's something that would be nice and Christmassy. So for this gift, I just went ahead and got a basket and a bunch of little stuff that I know the person would like. And I think this is pretty cool because you get to choose what you put in and how much you spend and what they get and it's pretty exciting and pretty cute. So this one was pretty similar. I ended up getting a wooden crate because I did want to add a lot more things. And I think these are pretty cool because you get to customize them however you want and they can be very personalized. And yeah, it's pretty cool and pretty cute. 
And you can end up using the wooden crate for something else once you're done, which is pretty cool to me. So this next one is pretty easy, but I do think it's more of a decoration than a gift. But if you really wanted to, you could gift it. Um, I just got a bunch of candy canes. I ended up using about 22 of them. I just super glued them together. Not super glue. Hot glued them together in a cute little circular pattern, whatever. And I don't know. I do recommend gluing them a lot better because mine did end up falling apart. But yeah. After that, you just get some ribbon. I do recommend some thick ribbon just so it looks a lot better. Um, I just went ahead and tied it like an ornament, a knot at the bottom, a knot at the top, and that was pretty much it. So this last gift was one of my favorites just because I think it's a pretty cool idea. You just get a bunch of little gifts and balloons. Obviously you can get like really good little gifts and kind of just put more thought into this. I just used chocolates for the video. Um, you do want to get some help putting the little gifts into balloons because it is pretty hard. But yeah. So once the little gifts are in the balloon you just go ahead and blow them up and you just fill the box with some balloons and you can make it all cute little signs and everything and you do want to get a push pin but kind of just put it somewhere where it's kind of safe and won't hurt anyone just so they're able to pop the balloons gifts that you can make. Hopefully you guys enjoyed them and hopefully you guys got some ideas out of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!